And shot at UW-Milwaukee last week by police. He's been identified as 30-year-old Irie Payne. He survived the shooting and is now in jail. 12 News' Nick Bohr is live on campus tonight. Nick, you spoke to people who know him well. Right, I spoke to the family who cared for Payne when he was in high school. He went on to study here at UWM, studying dance at this very same fine arts building where years later he was nearly killed by police. At 6, 3200 North Downer Avenue, I think we advise this officer involved, UWM police aren't safe. A massive police response March 19th after UWM police found a man sleeping in the fine arts complex around 7 in the morning. A scuffle ensued with officers and the man was shot but survived. He's now been identified as 30-year-old Irie Payne. So I hope this will give him the help that he needs to get his life together. The Phillips family opened their home to the homeless high school-aged Payne a decade ago. And he went on to study dance at UWM, but he dropped out junior year. He lived here with us at the house for a while, and then approximately two and a half years ago, he started having really strange behaviors, so he was asked to leave. They hadn't seen him in two years when he showed up March 18th, the day before he was shot. He told the Phillips he, quote, felt like hurting someone. My husband told him that, you know, you got to get your life together because you're going down the, long, the wrong road and you don't want to end up being shot or in prison. The very next day, Payne was shot by UWM police who say he was armed. He's recovering now and remains in jail awaiting formal charges. Mental health issues are so often overlooked, and so I hope this is the opportunity for him to get help. So, Nick, was this the first run-in he's had with police? No, at the time he was awaiting trial for a 2017 high-speed chase with Franklin police. In that case, uh, they found a gun in his car. The woman I spoke with for the story today said that he was exhibiting signs of mental illness.